So I know I said I was going to pull out the mini rock bouncer build, but I actually want to pull out this and continue working on this little thing. Now, there's a couple things I want to add to this vehicle to make it work just a little bit better. And I want to be able to make them removable in case we ever just want to bring it back to the way it is now. Uh, the first, there's three things. The first thing is I want to be able to add weight to the front to help keep the front end on the ground to get the steering to actually work on acceleration. Uh, I want to be able to add two different sets of wheelie bars on the back. The first wheelie bar is going to be where the tire is pretty high off the ground, so there, therefore it'll allow for this thing to do wheelies, but I can ride the wheelies a little bit better. And uh, a second wheelie bar I want to add is where the tire is on the ground to prevent wheelies, so therefore I can do some hard launches with this thing. And again, I want to be able to make all this stuff removable or interchangeable, so therefore I can change this thing for whatever we want to do with this vehicle. You know, hard launches, wheelies, burnouts, anything we want to do with this, we can change it to what we need. So, another thing we need to do is we need to fix the brakes because surprise, surprise, having one little brake disc on this thing, on a vehicle that can go this fast, is not really a good idea. After a little while of driving this thing, uh, the brake disc heats up really hot and then the brakes don't work anymore, so we need to somehow fix that. I'm not entirely sure how we're going to do that because there's not really that much room on this rear axle for a bigger brake disc. Yeah, I'm not really sure how we're going to fix that problem. I did think about trying to figure out how to do front brakes, but I don't know how to do that without completely getting new tires, new hubs, and spindles. But uh, we'll worry about that later. First thing let's work on is let's install some wheelie bars on this thing. So, the first wheelie bar we're going to make is the one to try and prevent a wheelie. Now, which means we want this thing close to the ground. Now, I've been looking at pictures of uh, wheelie bars on cars, trying to figure out how high do you want this off the ground. Do you want it touching the ground? Do you want it a little high off the ground? Where exactly do you want it? And it looks like it varies from car to car. And it uh, makes sense because it varies on what you want. If you want the front tires to stay on the ground, you want this thing really close to the ground. If you want it... If you don't mind a little wheelie, you can have it a little high off the ground. And it also depends on where you're going to be driving this thing. It's uneven terrain. You don't want this dragging on the ground back and forth when you're trying to turn this thing. So let's have the, let's have this one just a little bit high off the ground. So here's some uh, 3 8 plywood. We're just going to stick that on there and call that good. Ideally, I should make this adjustable. That would be the best way to do this. I'd be able to adjust how high I want this. The best way to do that would be use hind joints to connect this to this, but I didn't feel like wasting six hind joints on this project, plus I don't have the proper size hind joints that we would need. So we're just going to have to do this method right here. Worst case, what we could do for adjustment is just put washers underneath here 
somehow, and that's, that's going to kind of be our adjustment for this. doesn't come till out of the ground. Oh yeah, that'll hold up. I did have to add this bar right here, because this one that we added, if I didn't add this, this would have no strength whatsoever, because there's a lot of force pushing this way up against this. So I had to add this to transfer some of that force down to the frame right there. And I did make this removable, so therefore we can still get the engine out of the frame. So, first wheelie bar is done. I really want to test this thing, but we'll wait to do that later. Uh, let's work on making the second wheelie bar. Let's take this one off. I'm going to lift up the front end as high as it can go without this touching the ground. And then we'll build the second one. Test it just to make sure it's gonna hold up. Cause this thing's gonna hit pretty hard when uh, when I'm doing a full wheelie. So 
Seems like it'll work. Oh yeah. Should hold up just fine. Alright, so the wheelie bars are in place, so now the next thing I want to add is I want to be able to add weight to the front because I built this machine with the engine where it is, behind the rear axle, because I wanted this machine to be a wheelie machine, and sure enough it is, but I also want to be able to do other things with it. I want this to be able to do donuts and burnouts, and with that, we need to add weight to the front because we can't really do donuts with a wheelie bar, that's just not going to work. So, I, I was thinking about going to Walmart and just buying a couple of 45 pound weights, but I realized I have a ton of steel, so let's use that. I actually have this one piece of steel. It is over nine feet long by three inch thick, solid round stock. It is super heavy. I'm gonna pull that thing out. We're gonna cut it up into two different pieces. And we're gonna add it to the front. First piece is gonna go here, right in the front. And the second bigger piece is going to go right here. I'm going to make it to where we can obviously easily put them on and take them off. So therefore we can, uh, you know, we can still do wheelies and all that kind of stuff. And then when we want to add weight to the front, we can put it on and do some donuts. So I'm curious to see how much this stuff weighs. So, look, here's the bathroom scale. Eighty pounds. Yeah, it's eighty point eight pounds, which is uh, it. Whoops. <laughs> is it gonna be enough? That's the question. Is it gonna be enough weight in the front? It's definitely heavier in the front. So it's definitely heavier in the front, but the question is, is it enough to keep the front end on the ground under hard acceleration on concrete or on a high traction surface? Now, I'd love to go take this thing on the driveway and test it on the driveway, but unfortunately there's, just, there's too many vehicles in the driveway right now and it's too close to my neighbor's house my angry neighbor's house and I just don't feel like having another confrontation with him today so we're gonna test it in here we're only gonna test the weight unfortunately we have to wait uh, to test the wheelie bars for another video but we're gonna test the weights to see if they're enough and uh, how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna start it up outside and once it's good and warmed up I'm gonna roll it back into here get in it and just mash the throttle down and we'll see if the front end picks up or if this thing just does a really awesome burnout. All right, hopefully this thing will fire up.
don't know if it's fun time. Let's try that again. <laughs> oh man, this thing is nuts. <laughs> All right, so I was reviewing the footage, and I I was kind of hoping it was gonna light the tires up a lot more than it did. It did spin the tires. Just not as much as I was hoping. I was hoping it was going to look really cool doing an awesome burnout going out of the shed. But uh, it just didn't really spin the tires as much as I was hoping. I don't know if I didn't let this thing warm up enough or maybe it's just not running at peak power right now. This thing seems to be really finicky with running really well. But uh, the front end did stay on the ground, which is what we were testing. Now, is it going to work on the road? I'm not entirely sure because obviously a you know, wooden floor and a road is going to be different uh, traction surfaces. So it worked for here, but we're not sure yet if it's going to work for on the road. So worst case, we could always just try to add more weight to the front. Uh, maybe try a hundred pounds and say 80 pounds and see if that works. Uh, but now I know I said I was going to solve the brakes in this video, but I've been looking at it, trying to figure out how I could do that. Ideally, we need to put a bigger brake disc on the rear axle. I do have a couple uh, motorcycle brake discs that would be perfect, uh, but unfortunately, it's just, it, everything's so compact in here that it just I, could, I, I can't find a place to put it. And the only way that I could make it work is if I bumped one of the tires out, like two and a half inches, and put it and put the brake disc in between the tire and the frame. I could do that, but unfortunately this axle is not long enough to be able to do that. So as far as the brakes on this project, we're just going to have to admit that they don't work very well, and we're just going to have to work around that. So Now, I really want to test the wheelie bars, but unfortunately that's going to have to be for the next video of this project. I really need to find a place to take this thing where we can truly test what this machine... Ideally, I need a runway. I need to find like an abandoned runway where I can take this thing, but uh, that's going to have to be for future videos of this project for now. I guess that's it for this video. A little short video this week, kind of short, been busy with a bunch of other stuff. That's why I pulled this thing out, because I had to do a quick video, but uh, I guess for now, that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next video.